G'day guys, it's Jordan from Adreno here and today we're going to be talking about how to pick the right dive computer for you. So let's get stuck into a few different options and uh, talk a little bit about their features as well. So when we look at a dive computer, there's a few things that we want to take into account. Um, and this will help uh, you in the water, um, how to log your dives later, and just how to navigate through your systems as well. So for me personally, when I look at uh, a dive computer, I need something that has three to four buttons because that's gonna make it easier to navigate through your screens um, and just user uh, functionality, just making it nice and easy for you. Anything under that three to four, two buttons or one button, just means there's gonna be a little bit more stressful at times for you to cycle through those screens and to figure out what page does what and how to you know press enter or go back things like that um, from there we want to look at user function so what features do they come with is it air nitrox is there a free diving mode um, on more of our upscale products what extra features or apps do they come with um, do we want to go for something that's uh, more an in-water dive computer or something that's an everyday watch? Or do we want something that's just connected to our regulator set and just set there um, without any extra functionality other than just being a dive computer? So the first dive computer that we're going to look at is our Sunto Zoop Novo. Firstly, I absolutely love this dive computer. Um, it's a fantastic product. If you're brand new into diving, or even if you're fairly experienced and you're looking at purchasing a dive computer, the Zoop Novo is a great, great product and it's priced very, very well. In my opinion, it's probably the best entry level dive computer that you can buy on the market. In terms of its features, it comes with a air feature, a nitrox feature, and a free diving feature. And then it also comes with what we call a gauge mode, which basically takes away all of your diving algorithm stuff. Um, four buttons, as you can see, so it makes it nice and easy to navigate through those screens, as I said. Um, the bezel comes in a few different colors, but at the moment we've got the nice bright yellow or bright green, um, which is gonna make noticing the dive computer in the water um, a lot easier as well. It does come with its extra long strap, which, theoretically is going to be aimed at anyone that's uh, wearing a dry suit or a thicker wetsuit as well. It does uh, fold back in on itself so you don't have a huge tail hanging off the end. Um, the dive computer is a battery, battery replacement dive computer which means after about 200 dives you should need a battery change. This will alert you when it's starting to get low. The beautiful thing with Sunto is that when you get your battery change, you get new screws, a new hatch, new O-ring, uh, and of course, a new battery. Um, I would highly recommend going into one of our Adreno um, outlets to get the battery change done, uh, because we do have specific Sunto tools um, and specific um, silicon grease and things like that to make sure that we do the actual battery change correctly. So definitely come in and see us when it's time to get your battery change. Um, an extra feature of the Sunto product is a USB cord. It is sold separately, okay, so it doesn't come with the dive computer. Uh, the reason why you might wanna purchase that is because this dive computer will store 100 dives on it. And as soon as you hit 100, it'll start deleting the oldest dives off. So if you don't log your dives in, say, a written handbook, um, that USB cable is going to be really, really important for you because you'll be able to take all of those dives off the unit and put it onto your computer. And that way you can kind of look at your progression, look at your dives, um, if you're doing training um, or, or further education within scuba diving, um, it's a really good thing to get. Um, so just keep that in mind that it is sold separately. In terms of the screen, it's a grayscale, okay, so there's no color screen or anything like that. Um, and it does come with a brightness feature, so it's just a one press button and it'll glow green. Um, this was my first dive computer and I absolutely loved it. I had it for about four or five years before I decided to then upgrade. Um, in terms of its function, obviously it is quite big, but you're only gonna be wearing it in the water and when you're diving. 
Okay, so it's not a watch that you're gonna be wearing on a Friday night out on the town to you know, impress some people. It is purely just for in the water. Because of its size, it makes it really easy to see and to read the screen. Um, the best thing about this dive computer is just that it's reliable. Um, so it works perfectly. I've never had any issues and I've never had to fix or service any issues for a Zoop Novo. Um, in terms of a quality product, anyone that's a beginner or looking at purchasing their first dive computer, or even if you are quite experienced and you don't need all of the technology and all of the bits and pieces that some other dive computers come with, the Zoop Novo is a fantastic dive computer to go for. So I'd highly recommend it. Next, we have our Oceanic F10, which is more of a free diving computer. So for any of those free divers, this one is for you. Um, again, it's a grayscale screen, so there's no color or anything like that into it. And importantly, four buttons. So navigating, nice and easy. Nice short watch strap, which means you can wear this all day, every day if you want to. It's entirely up to you um, if you want to have it as just your normal everyday watch. The battery will reduce a lot quicker if you are wearing it every day. And generally, as soon as you start pressing buttons and the battery has to work, you will reduce the amount of dive time that you'll have on this particular product. So you may have to get a battery change a lot quicker than something like your Sunto. That being said, a cool feature with the Oceanic model is that they are a battery replacement user-friendly dive computer, which means when it is time to get your battery changed, theoretically, you can do the battery change yourself at home. Totally fine. All you have to do is buy the battery kit, which you can do at Adreno. The one downside to doing a battery change yourself is you are not gonna have the opportunity to pressure test it. So when we do all of our battery changes in store, we pressure test the dive computer, making sure that they are 100% reliable and ready to go to that atmosphere and withstand that pressure. So it is entirely up to you if you want to do the battery change on your own. If you've never done it before, by all means come into our store, we can talk you through it or jump onto YouTube as well. Um, this computer also comes, um, it's a separate purchase unfortunately, but a, a cable to take those uh, dives off the computer. Um, so separate purchase, but yeah, if you want to look at those log dives, definitely um, buy that extra cable. So for free divers, um, obviously, you know, a lot of dive computers have so many different features to them. If you just want something basic that's just a free diving computer, the Oceanic F10 um, is a really good way to go. They are uh, comfortable, they're easy to navigate through the screens, um, and they do just look like a normal everyday watch as well, which is cool. From there, um, in terms of what we've looked at so far, we have two wrist style dive computers, which means when you're in the water, it's gonna sit on your wrist. Um, for scuba divers, we do have another method, which is our console dive computer. This method is going to attach into your first stage in your regulators, and it's gonna live there forever. The benefit to having a console gauge like this is you get your air gauge included on there as well, and obviously your dive computer up the top. So this is our Cressy Donatello dive computer and our Cressy mini gauge. Um, why might you go for something like this? As I said before, if you just wanna keep your regs and everything together um, in the one bag, and that way you're not forgetting anything, as I said, this is just gonna attach straight into your first stage. You're not gonna forget your regs, or at least I hope not. Um, and everything's just gonna coil up together and be in the one place. The other good thing as well is that when this comes down and you are in dives position, you're just gonna be able to look down and navigate through your screen, see your, um, your depth, your time, you know, if you've breached your NDL limits or something like that, it's right here. And then while you're looking at your gauge, you're also looking at your um, air gauge, um, double checking how much air you have. The Cressy Donatello, it is a single button, kind of like a button and a half dive computer. For me, as I said before, the only downside is just navigating through that screen. 
Um, you do have to remember if it's a quick press or a long press or a short quick press or a long short quick press just to kind of figure out what screen you're on, what's back, what's forward, what's enter. Um, but that being said, it's a, it's a great dive computer. Um, it's reliable and you know, it's gonna tell you everything that you need to know on your dive. Um, and then the other cool thing as well is that on the back here, it is a user-friendly um, battery change dive computer. So as I said before, similar with the Oceanic, you can come in to Adreno and buy the battery kit yourself and do the battery change. Again, the only downside is you can't pressure test it. If you were to bring this particular model into Adreno, we would take all of this apart, pressure test and do the battery change on the dive computer, put it all back together for you and make sure that it's 100% gonna work before your next dive. Um, the one downside to these kind of batteries is that sometimes, not always, some people don't seal the battery hatch correctly, take it for a dive, dive computer floods. And then you come into Adreno and then we have to kind of fix it. So just be aware of that, that if you are doing those um, battery changes yourself, that you are taking your time um, to know how it's done and, and to do it properly. Or better yet, just come in and see us and we'll do the battery change for you. Um, having everything in one area is obviously gonna make your life nice and easy especially if you don't like having things on your wrist and you don't like holding things or moving stuff around, having it all in one place is, is a good way to go. For me, the one downside is that it's just an extra hose that you have to put up with on your dive gear. Um, for me, I like to be as streamlined as possible and the more hoses in a conventional setup is just a little bit much for me personally. But you have to figure out what's gonna suit you, um, what's gonna suit you in the best way for how you dive. For me, it doesn't suit the way I dive, um, but there are some really good positive features about this setup that could make another diver happy. So that's our Cressy Donatello. Uh, from there, we're gonna move into our colored screen dive computers. So more of our um, higher price point dive computers. Um, first, we'll look at the Sunto D5. This is the dive computer that I currently wear for scuba diving, and I absolutely love it. The reason being is because it does absolutely everything that I need it to do in the water. It has air, it has nitrox, it has a free diving mode, and if I'm not diving for you know a long period of time, I can set it to just a watch mode, which will save that battery time as well. Um, it comes with a number of different screen faces, so you'll have a inbuilt compass, um, you'll have your decompression screen, you'll have your air integration screen, and then you'll just have your standard um, dive mode screen. Um, the reason why I went for this dive computer was because I felt that it looked professional. So working as a dive instructor, not only did I want to look the part, um, I wanted to back it up with, you know, good quality gear. Sunto for me is that. Um, it looks professional um, and it does absolutely everything I need it to do. The cool thing with this dive computer is that it does come with some extra other features. Um, you can connect it to your phone if you want and get those phone calls, email notifications, all of that sort of stuff buzzing through you. For me, I turned all that stuff off because I want to enjoy diving. I don't want to be receiving emails and notifications and all that kind of thing. But if you are someone that likes that technology and those extra features, the Sunto D5 being a more dedicated dive computer can still do those extra things without diminishing the quality of their dive algorithm and their performance in the water. The one thing with this dive computer is that it does need to be set up quite specific um, for you to get the most out of it. If the screen brightness is turned all the way to the max, you will have less battery life. If you have the Bluetooth connected, if you have those emails and those phone calls, the battery life will reduce. For me, I purely just need it as a dive computer and an everyday watch. So the brightness is as low as it can be and those extra bits and pieces are turned off. I get about 12 hours of battery life and I lose about an hour a day when I'm working in the store um, if I'm diving, the most dives I've done on the D5 is, I think, five on a liverboard. 
and I still had about five, four to five hours of battery life on it, which through the night, I would just charge it back up again. So four to five dives in one go, uh, through a day, sorry, is, is a lot of diving. So it can definitely take on those bigger day, uh, bigger day jobs. The only thing that I wouldn't recommend is for people in a commercial dive setting to look at the D5. Being lithium, the battery will run out, obviously, the longer that dive algorithm is in place. So just be mindful. Recreationally, this is a great dive computer, but for anyone more so in a commercial sense, I would be looking at the, uh, the Sunto Zoop Novo um, or anything that's a grayscale battery replacement dive computer. Um, this dive computer is air integrated. So again, if you like that technology, and instead of having an air gauge uh, with your dive computer, you can get a transmitter or a tank pod, which is Bluetooth connectivity, which means no big hoses coming off your shoulder, and you can read how much air you have left in your tank on your computer. For me, I like the technology side of things, and for me, this dive computer ticked all the boxes for what I needed out of a dive computer. The quality, the warranty, the technology side of things, and then the professional uh, look of it as well. Um, a step further, all of the straps can be replaced. So if you wanted to go for a webbing or a leather um, or a stainless steel, you can go for that, those options. Um, and then as well, back to the bezel, we've got three buttons. So that actually makes it, I've found that three buttons is a perfect medium for navigating through your screen, up, down, enter and back. And that's pretty much all you need. The cool thing with this is that it connects to the Sunto DM5 app, which means as soon as you finish a dive, if it's connected to the app, your dive will be logged straight away, uh, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to go home and sit down and try and you know, pull out your dive computer and look at all these things. It's already done for you, which is really, really cool. So if you want a dedicated dive computer that has a number of features that you can turn on or turn off, something that's professional and good quality, the Sunto D5 is a really, really good way to go. I absolutely love it, and I still wear mine today, and I've had it for about five or six years. From there, we have the Garmin Descent Mark II. Um, Garmin, it's a little bit tricky. They do absolutely everything that you could possibly want this dive computer to do. In comparison to the D5, in my personal opinion, I don't personally think it's as good a dive computer as the Sunto D5. But if you're someone that's into fitness, going to the gym, running, hiking, snowboarding, surfing, hunting, um, scuba diving, free diving, spear fishing, this is a very, very good quality watch to get into because it has so many of those extra features. It has all of those extra bits and pieces that can you know, allow you to have one watch for everything. You don't have to have these multiple items or bits and pieces floating around. It is rechargeable and it does have a better battery life than the Sunto because it's a much bigger dive computer. So there's a much bigger lithium uh, battery in here. From there, as I said, this dive computer will do absolutely everything for you. So if you want to be recreational, it can do that. If you want to be technical, you can do that. If you want to do rebreather stuff, you can do that. Um, five buttons navigating through can be a little bit tricky because sometimes you'll forget what button does what. Um, but from there as well, you'll have the opportunity to connect it to your phone, have notifications on, on all of your apps come through to you. Um, you can pretty much do everything with this, with this watch. It's not solely a dive computer, um, but having that, that uh, dive algorithm in there does you know, obviously open up a few new avenues for you as well. Um, the straps are all completely replaceable as well, and they are good quality. Um, and you can buy different ones from Garmin or from us um, as well. For me, the technology side of the Garmin is top notch. It's, it does it better than anyone else. Um, it just kind of depends if you want a watch that does all of that stuff or if you just want a dedicated dive computer.
for me, I don't do all of that other stuff. So the D5 was a much better option. And in terms of price point, it fitted me quite well. But if you are someone that likes doing all of those extra bits and pieces and, and you know, doing all of those you know, adventure kind of sports or fitness and things like that, the Garmin's fantastic. It is a great computer to go for. Um, not only that, but they look very, very professional as well. So you, as an everyday watch, it looks pretty fashionable, which is cool. Um, and you do get an extra long strap in the box as well, so you don't have to just stick with the, the standard strap. So just remember that one as well. Um, for me, it's a tough choice because you kind of have to weigh up technology as opposed to a simple version of itself. Every dive computer is gonna tell you your depth. It's gonna tell you when you need to do your safety stop. Most of them will have some sort of an alert, whether it's a, a, a beep or a vibration. Um, and all of them will have a decompression limit as well. It just depends if you wanna then increase that technology to something that's rechargeable, has an air integration feature, which the Garmin MK2 does not have that air integration feature. The MK2i has that feature. So if you're looking at buying that uh, transmitter, just remember you have to get the Garmin MK2i. The MK2 does not have that feature. But they're the things that you have to, have to consider. Do I want all of those extra bits and pieces? Do I need that technology? Do I want to wear something on my wrist all day, every day? Especially if it's a gray uh, scale screen, it's gonna run the battery down a lot quicker, which means I'm gonna have to get a battery change a lot quicker. You have to weigh that up. That's about it for our dive computer, guys. Um, as I said before, come into our stores, have a chat to our staff, or shop online, and we'll get the best product for you. Cheers.